we're going to see. I built these uh, towers early this spring. Filled them with uh, just compostable material. Um, grasses, straw, chicken droppings, and clean up from their poop, rabbit droppings, whatnot. Let it sit for a couple of weeks, then added some more after it, it settled. And uh, then uh, planted some sweet potato slips into it. Now normally, you know, I'm in zone four. We'll never be able to grow sweet potatoes here. Won't be able to if I keep getting them done. Um, but this is just an experiment. Let's see uh, if anything like this could get work or what I can do ne different next year to make it work. There was a little bit of compost from my bio reactor that I put in here as well, just to give it a little kickstart. I've just got the regular watering and whatnot through the year. We've had a couple of fairly cold days with snow and whatnot. That's only, what does it say, about 38 today, so there's, it's not none too warm. But I thought we'd tear this apart and see if anything grew. One thing that I thought is maybe uh, if I tried to do this again is uh, covering it with some sort of you know black landscape fabric or something like that. Give it a little bit more heat. Look at that. <laughs> little baby sweet potatoes. Little fingerlings. I started with, uh, what did I start with? Two orange, you know, your common variety sweet potato, and then two of the red skin white sweet potato that I started early spring. Made some slips and <laughs> um, planted those into this you know and all this stuff here i'm gonna put on a new garden bed that i'm starting i've got kind of covered with uh, uh cardboard right now and i'll get a little bit of wood chips and some compost and i'll put this rotting hay and i did make some Compost dirt here, but I mean it's kind of a, sure it worked out. So I'm thinking it could work with some modifications. made three of these. Make them stick. <laughs> so it's not a total failure. One of them, one of the cages didn't, the sweet potatoes didn't take very well on it. And it might not have got watered enough or something, I don't know. At the beginning, a little, little biochar in there as well. There's a few of them here. So 
all that. There's barely some compost in here, so I mean, it produced compost anyway. Wouldn't call it a huge success, but something to do a little reconfiguring and probably got what I started with as far as quantity of sweet potatoes. Nothing else. We built some soil. The warmest thing right now. It's chilly in there. Did a good job of turning everything into something I can use later, plus grow something. So I mean, that's that's a pretty nice compost there. Good addition to the garden beds, new and old. The bottom layer is kind of weird, it's leaves and stuff. Didn't compost out, but. Move over to the next one here. Let's see. And I just cut some two cattle panels apart to make my three cages. Well, I got it wired together. We got over here. Crap. 
Snow and rain here in the last week. Looks like that will bring some moisture. This is going to be a lot wetter. Certainly they're not. Seeding them. less productive for whatever reason. But not horrible. Stray cat wander in with the dogs there, so they're all excited. All right, let's see what we got in this last one. I don't expect a whole lot with this one, but <clears throat> for most of the year, I didn't see any signs of any growth. Came up super late, or if it was just hidden from me. Because this is kind of off to the side a little bit more. And uh, growth can get down a little bit. Yeah, I didn't get watered as much either. Kind of written off, so this one won't produce any of Even the compost really much at all. Goes pretty well. Good stuff. Nice 
Vamos empurrar, cara. So let's see if we can. So, not completely satisfied. There's some room for improvement. But I definitely got more sweet potatoes than I pulled before I started with. So what do you guys think? What should I do different? I think I might uh, keep on adding material to it too and then maybe tuck the vines back in and see if they'll reroute. But, you know, it's not an amazing harvest, but for zone four for sweet potatoes, I don't think it's too bad. I am gonna start a Discord channel and make a membership. <clears throat> this will be one of the projects that I'll um, have a discussion in and uh, we can see what everybody's thoughts are you know what you would do different especially in the different areas that you live you know the soil around here is just horribly compacted clay so i can't get anything to grow as far as a root crop just straight into the ground right now slowly working that with compost and putting in some uh like some fodder uh, radishes and stuff to break it up and whatnot it's a slow process but something like this i mean you know we can grow potatoes and carrots and whatnot in there and it was definitely nice and loose and you know there's you know that's great for stuff to grow into you know out of just some old hay and Manure and straw and leaves, pot and biochar and some, you know, and a shot of uh, compost inside of it to get it started. Anyway, that is uh, that was one of my projects this uh, growing season.